Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, it's late, I do apologise for that. Uh, it's the July 2022 issue 415 War Games Illustrated. Um, some great artwork on the front. I think these are French against some Russian Jaegers. Um, yeah, French Guardsmen versus Russian Jaegers. It's lovely. Um, a lot of the artwork that you get on the front of uh, War Games Illustrated comes from Osprey Publishing and they do some really great colour plates in their books and stuff like that. But anyway, I digress. So we get our contents page and subscriptions. And we have the German, we have an, uh, some adverts here, um, but it's the Flames of War um, German Battle of the Bulge starter force, um, which caught my eye. And in this starter set, you're getting three Jagdpanzer 8.8 centimeter tank hunters. So that's one, two, and three there. Armored Panzer Grenadier platoon. So that's these guys here. Uh, two Hornies. 8.8 centimeter tank hunters, which I'm going to assume are these two beasties that look like self-propelled guns. Two Ostwind 3.7 millimeter tanks, which are these? These are going to be your um, anti-air. Three pounds of fours. One, two, three, four. Um, four SD KFZ 251 half tracks. So that's one, two, three, four. We get three Hummel 15 centimeter SP guns, one, two, three, and two Puma five centimeter armored cars. So that's these two at the side there. You get your complete rule book, German start here booklet, two decal sheets, and 10 unit cards. So, really good <clears throat> uh, battle force box there, basically. Um, coming into quick fire. Uh, readers, letters and stuff. Um, just looking at this, this is a really cool sort of like sci-fi mini diorama loading bay here for wargaming and then somebody's done a little cricket pitch just here which is pretty cool. This was done, um, it looks like it's going to be sort of like six millimeter Twenty millimeter, probably designed for model railways. There you go. And then some more. So, coming into observation post. Rules, supplements, figures, terrain, hobby gear, and more. New and forthcoming war game stuff you need to know about. So we have some war games Atlant Atlantic Conquistadors and Aztec Warriors here. Um, so yeah, this is following on. Um, some great detail with the leather jerkins, uh, patterned sort of like leather or padded jerkins that they're wearing, that sort of thing. Uh, we have some Rubicon models, United States Marine Corps Marines and Viet Cong fighters. These look like uh, 156 scale, 28mm war gaming figures. Um, but they look great, especially painted. So these are some Viet Cong painted up here. We got some United States Marines down here painted up. Some of the poses look really dynamic, uh, running with his M60 here and throwing a grenade. says here that they also have, it's not just infantry on the way for the Vietnam War range, a Huey is on the horizon with options to build UH-1D or UH-1H and there's all the Rubicon detailing you'd expect, a fully realised interior crew, a search and rescue option with stretchers, various weapon systems. The Huey should go on sale in the next couple of months. Rubicon have teased their Vietnam offerings that expand the range to cover more civilians and terrain too. So we've got these little... Um, Vietnamese boats here as well. North Star military figures, Star Grave, Crew 2. 
to say um, sci-fi there. We've got Backer 6mm World War II range. So we've got some M3 half tracks or M5A1 half track. Uh, a Berg Panther. A Sexton 25 pounder field gun. And a Flak Panzer there. And they've also got some 6mm Great Northern War Swedes. Uh, Grey for now games, 0 200 hours starter set. So this is um, night fighting basically. And then we have some German and what they're calling British SAS. Okay. Hadrian's Wall doing some great um, scenery pieces, gaming scenery pieces as usual. Release radar, what have we got? Okie dokie. Terrain projects for all scales. Buildings come at juxtaposed sizes this month, starting with the smallest battle scale war game buildings, battlescale.com. Three millimeter resin cottage, that's that one. Uh, 15 centimeter high dwelling building. This MDF structure stands 15 centimeters tall. It's part of an expanding range of Iliada for 28 scale millers uh, figures. Jim Webster's Cal Doom by Starlight Game. We have some 6mm Iranian AFVs from Scotia Grendel. And some 28mm British SAS and SBS figures. Empress miniatures here. Uh, parcel of 17th century rogues and night goblins and book wise they have in ancients uh, British Celtic warrior versus Roman soldier that sounds interesting Um, Saving Washington's Army for American Civil War. Uh, Hlombane and Kambula for the Anglo Zulu War. World War II, Britain's Secret Defences. And Emergency in Malaya. The Malaya, emer Malaya and Emergency. Okay, new to Napoleonics. So the main thread through the magazine this time around is going to be new is going to be Napoleonics. Um, so this is just giving you a background for the gaming and some of the options that are available. And obviously they've included a really nice picture of some of the vintage. Uh, Airfix Napoleonic uh, uh, figures in HO scale that they used to do. Um, Airfix really started up in their figure game, uh, and the, the quality of the sculpts are absolutely fantastic. But it's just a shame that they were unable to complete their range refresh. So, some of the figures that you still get from Airfix today when they release them as their vintage classics um, are not as good so yeah really in-depth article on what's available uh, the lion rampant second edition this is a, an interview with designers notes So this is I'm trying to get a, a year, but is this going to be sort of like Richard Lionheart or someone else around that era? Medieval wargaming rules, it says. 
Um, rescuing the Prussians. So this is another Napoleonics uh, article. This one is about the author of the article is um, did painted some Hinchcliffe Napoleonic Russians sorry rescuing the Russians not Prussians um, he painted in the 1980s and gives them an update so how he stripped them and then repainted and yeah they're looking you know they're looking really good pictures of sort of like before and after uh, cuirassiers before and they're just you know I mean obviously as people progress in their painting skills the differences between the figures when he originally painted them in the 80s and today it's just phenomenal okay partisan May 2022 Derby War Game Society Okay, so yeah, this is just a show report. Um, six millimeter battle for Injim River. So for those people that don't know their um, Korean War history, um, the Gloucesters, Gloucestershire Regiment, um, who uh, are a bit infamous within the British Army for having a badge on the back of their berries, um, often teased as it's there so that we can see when they're running away um, <laughs> did a what they call a glass a last stand um, at the battle for the Indian River River where basically they were positioned in holding um, actions to try and stall uh, a Chinese advance um, and they were positioned on several hills um, repelled wave after wave of Chinese attacks um, until they couldn't hold on anymore. And basically the order was given for, I think it's fair to say every man for themselves. And they then had to escape and evade from their positions uh, back to the main lines. Um, however, it did give, similar to the Alamo, it gave time for the, um, Allied army to um, group and prepare for the Chinese attacks. Um, a great sacrifice. One of the things that came, one of the, the main things that stands out about that story is the um, bugle. Uh, is he called a bugle major? He, in a duel, a bugle duel with the Chinese bugler. He played every bugle call available except for um, retreat uh, during the battle, and um, yeah, it was uh, it was a hard fought um, action for the Gloucesters, and um, obviously they acquitted themselves very well. But that looks like a fantastic six millimeter gaming board really interesting uh, two fat lardies what a cowboy a bad day in Lardville okay so that sounds um, satirical and fun so yeah lots of lots of great boards for gaming across oh look at this castle loving that Magnificent table in all its glory, apart from the C, C section that was further to the bottom. Yeah, so you, you know, you get some close up pictures here of the castle and inside this castle. Lovely, absolutely great. Anyway, Prussian attack on Plancen Noir. So, this is, an inform this is information about um, uh, an action that took place. 
um, in uh, it's based it's being based on a, a painting by Adolf Northern's 1864 painting of the attack on Plantonoir. It's an image despite being rendered half a century after the battle. Okay, so probably 1814, something like that. All oh, right, okay. So yeah, 1818, by the look of it, after the Battle of Waterloo. Uh, was it? No, it was 1815, wasn't it? Get it right. Uh, it was the 18th of June, 1815, if I remember rightly. Um, takes me a little while, but I get there. Um, So yeah, defeating the French Imperial Young Guard, 1st Battalion to 2nd Grenadiers and 2nd Chasseurs at the Battle of Waterloo. Here's the, this is the um, a rendition of the picture and then obviously some guy, his little vignette that he's done there. But this looks like it's being done in 15mm. So, Wargaming Flodden. King Henry VIII's invasion of France in 1513 left England vulnerable. King James IV of Scotland exploited this when France sought his assistance against the English king. King James, the ideal Renaissance prince, stood by the old alliance and invaded England. It did not go well for the Scots. At Flodden, 9 September 1513, the Scottish army was destroyed and King James, along with much of the Scottish nobility, was killed. So there you go. Battle of Flodden. Gaming by Moonlight. So this is um, carrying on from, I think last month they did a, or the previous issue, they did a sentries, uh, gaming with sentries. And this is just showing you how you can create and paint models because when it's dark you don't see don't really see colors you see shades and these are all models which are painted to represent seeing people in um, the dark so pretty cool and how they modeled up a um, pillbox there as well soldiers of Napoleon another Napoleonics article rules showcase so just going through gameplay for soldiers of napoleon which is literally the the um rule set and then building cantina with adobe walls that looks cool. So showing you a step by step. I do wish more modeling magazine, more wargaming magazines, we're looking at you, um, White Dwarf, would do more articles where they show um, things that they do with regards to um, building your own scenery. So yep, step by step guide is how they did it. And then the finished article. And then we come into the final bits of advertising and that's that. So I hope you liked that. Um, as I say, I do apologise that it's quite late coming out. Um, just stuff and life and my mental health getting in the way. Um, the old brain weasels being complete arseholes, unfortunately. Anyhow, um, hopefully I'll have uh, another video out uh, very soon after this one because um, I need to catch up and um, I will see you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.